Jared Poland Frono's photo. Dot com, and this is your. Wow, been harnessing that a while. Photo news fix. This fix is brought to you by Surfshark, which is the virtual private network that I use. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with a VPN and how it works, it's simple. It's technology used to securely connect to the internet and protect your data by sending it via an encrypted tunnel. This is perfect for people who travel a lot like me and need to connect to open Wi-Fi and want to keep prying eyes off my browsing habits. I also should mention that it's a more secure way to check your bank account while you're on the road or in another country. Oh yeah, and let's say you're in another country and they don't have that show you wanted to stream. Simply route your VPN through another country so that the streamer thinks you're there and BAM! Dragons! I love the fact that Surfshark allows me to connect and protect unlimited amounts of devices. If you're someone who wants to block trackers, malware, and phishing attempts, then Surfshark is perfect for you. For more information, head on over to surfshark.deals fro1. Enter the code FRO1 for 83% off and get three extra months free. First up, since we've been talking about Instagram a lot in the last months, let's kick this week's fix off with yet another story of how Instagram hates photography. Actually, this story is about Instagram embracing photos once again by copying the number one most downloaded free app in the App Store called Be Real. No, Dan, not that be real, this be real. The app that has amassed 20 million downloads. This isn't the first time that a Mark Zuckerberg production has taken to copying someone else's features. For one, he was afraid of Instagram, so he bought it. He couldn't buy Snap, so he copied stories from them. He's losing mindshare to TikTok, which has led Instagram down the path of short form video. And now Instagram is running internal tests of a feature called Candid Challenges, which basically copies Be Real's key feature of prompting you at a random time to capture your surroundings by taking a photo with the front and rear camera at the same time within two minutes of opening the notification. In fact, Instagram recently rolled out the ability to take a photo with the front and rear camera at the same time. Will I be downloading Be Real? No. I don't want to jump when an app says jump. Jump around. Plus, it's not really photography. It's more vanity, like, look at me, look at me. I'm an influencer. I'm so cool. Look where I'm at. Welcome to my suite at the Rio. Wow, 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 so cool. Now, I wonder when OnlyFans is going to get this feature, because I'd, I'd try that one out. Christine. Next up, the James Webb Telescope is back at it again. This time, it's looking inside our very own galaxy and not at your anus because this time it's capturing auroras around Jupiter. Definitely an amateur. I know, it's amateur. I, I didn't even write it in the script, but I was like, I gotta say it, because why not? Low hanging fruit gets the job done. Whatever. They always tell you to stay young, right? With giant storms, powerful winds, auroras, and extreme temperatures and pressure conditions, Jupiter has a lot going on, says the James Webb team. Keep in mind, this is a composite image and editing is of course- Subjective, isn't it? Now, since editing is subjective, I had to do it. I had to taste the rainbow and add some Skittles. Ah. Yep, much better with Skittles, but don't yell at me for editing NASA's photo. I pay taxes. I do what I want. Speaking of yelling at people, on the next Raw Talk podcast, I will be ranting about an email a photo company sent me, and you're gonna wanna hear this one. Raw Talk goes live every Friday where you get your podcast, or you could head on over to fronosphoto.com slash podcast, because there's currently 12 new rebooted episodes. 12! for you to binge. Next up, it looks like Canon might be prepping to finally release an RF version of a 302.8. The 302.8 has always been a dream lens for many, including me back in the day. And according to Canon rumors, this new lens will be 40% lighter and 30% shorter than the EF version. Weight is always an issue with these type of lenses. I traded in my dream 302.8 Nikon years ago in favor of the 300 F 4PF Nikon, simply because it fit in the palm of my hands and allowed me more freedom to move around and also bring extra glass. Now, I still prefer a 302.8 over an F4, but the size made all the difference in the world. That's what she said. If Canon is able to shrink the 302.8, it's gonna make a lot of photographers really happy, though I would prefer to see Canon focusing on creating something more unique and versatile, like a 120 to 302.8, which Sigma has had for almost a decade, and Nikon finally released a few years back. Now, I'm personally working on a review of 
the Nikon 120 to 300 2.8 because I took it out to shoot some baseball as well as soccer. Canon Rumors thinks that this lens is coming in 2023, so we'll have to wait and see. That rhymes. <laughs> and finally, it looks like Canon is tired of overheating cameras and has filed a patent for a liquid cooled camera body. Liquid metal. According to Canon Rumors, the patent shows Canon using magnets to pump liquid through cooling tubes, thus keeping internal heat. I'm not sure if this is designed for prosumer end cameras like the R5 and R6, or designed more for cinema cameras. But with 8K resolution becoming more prevalent, heat dissipation is going to become an even larger sticking point. No one wants to be told your camera will overheat and become unusable. Useless machine. Do you think we'll see a liquid cooled Canon camera anytime soon? Let me know down below. Hey, that rhymes. And there you have it. That's your photo news fix this time around. To check out the last fix, go ahead and click on the screen right here. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And that's where I'm going to leave it. Jared Poland, Photo.com. See ya.